Yes. And you want to eat. You want to feed me the bottle. Papa. Papa. Feed the bubbles. <laughs> Mmm. <laughs> oh, Jack, that's beautiful. Yay! <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Oh, yeah. I have no idea what we're going to do this morning. I think it's going to be another lively day. What do you reckon, Jack Jack? bubbles and some Maltesers. Now, if you want to know me super well, you'll want to know that I love chocolate and I take it for free. If you're giving it out, give it to me and I'll eat it for you. I have no qualms in doing this. Now, the beast of the resistance, a gimbal, not a selfie stick. I didn't know what they were called, but this is fantastic because if you're a very unstabilized like me and want to be a little bit more stable with your vlogging, this is apparently the cream of the crop. So I'm very, very much looking forward to using this. 
Scott got this from JB Hi-Fi. Um, lots of angles, lots of stabilizing, which I need. I am very excited to use this and get that going once I figure it out. Woo! Spoiled! Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> I really love it. Good morning and happy Mother's Day to all the fabulous mothers in the world in Isolation Station. Dot com. So, I was very spoiled. I got a stick for my phone that I can do all the fabulous vlogging in. What do you say? Happy Mother's Day! Happy Mother's Day! Love you. So the kids got me and Scott. Um, poo. Poo. Chocolate. I got chocolate and a fabulous vlogging stick. Um, when was that? Oh, that's okay. We just fixed him up. I'm talking. All right. Interruptions. So we're probably going to go and see. Indeed. Bella's nanny and poppy. My nan's away at the farm. Hopefully might catch up with Auntie Sam later on in the day. Yay! I know. So we'll see where the day takes us. Yeah. <laughs> Where have we come? Where have we just been? Uh, Nanny and Poppy's place Dad. for Mother's Dad. Day scones Dad. and coffee. But you didn't have any coffee, did you? Uh, no, you're not allowed. Oh, she let you Dad. have some of her decaffeinated tea. <laughs> She calls it coffee, but it's tea. Yes, because it's tea. Yes. Yes. Morning of the day. It's Groundhog Day. It's Groundhog Day. It's a mother. It's a mother. It's a mother. It's the day of the day. 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 Hopefully both kids won't be too long out of bed and they have a nap. 
and mommy and daddy get some free time. Come home. I've had a shower. I did my hair and I managed to get makeup on. Happy Mother's Day to me. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> we put Jack down for a nap. Yes. So one less kid to worry about. And yes, it's the morning of the day. So Bella and I thought we might do a little bit of Mother's Day baking. Mother's Day baking! Mother's Day baking! And we are going to attempt, attempt to make lemon ripple cheesecake. We have not, I repeat, not ever attempted to make this before. <laughs> so yes, back to the lemon ripple cheese cone. Bella, sit back. <laughs> I was very excited when I found this recipe. Mm, I know, very scary. I got very excited when I read what was in the recipe this morning and I didn't actually read the method and there's a million and one steps. So. Wish us luck. We're still cooking with a three-year-old. And let's get this show started. Look at me. Look at me. There's no blood in your eyes. There's no blood in my eyes. There should be. You should be drinking wine. Let's go back. Now let's get to the ingredients portion of our video. So we need 250 gram packet of Nice Arnott's Biscuits. Beautiful, how exciting. We need 125 grams of unsalted butter, one teaspoon of finely grated lemon rind. We need 600 mils of water. Oh, thank you. One we prepared not earlier. Ah. I was joking, I'm the biggest joker. Three teaspoons of gelatin powder. Never use this stuff ever. You forgot this? A lot of you could be laughing at home. You forgot this? I'm not forgetting it yet. You sit back down over there. What are you? We need two. 250 gram packets of the Philadelphia cream cheese. Doral. 140 grams of good old caster sugar. Two tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. We'll get to that later. Sit back down, please. Sit back down. We also need 500 grams of thickened cream. That gets me excited. I love you too, Bella Rose. Oh, warm and fuzzies. Okay. Warm and fuzzies. We need we need two egg whites. Never done that before either. Some of you might think you've come across a mum's cooking channel. Well, you're wrong. We do cook here. We love trying desserts and all those amazing things. But are we cooks? We're not. Daddy Scott's the cook in our family and he's pretty amazing, but I'm the one that loves dessert. <laughs> oh, well, come and sit back down here. I need to. All right. Another thing I've never come across before. Lemon curd. Oh, 
something else that I've never used in cooking before ever. So follow me if you're interested in cooking terrible and no muss, no fuss, no fruitiness. It's just gonna happen. Alright, now that we've got all our fabulous ingredients together, we're not missing out this time and we're a lot more prepared than last time. Last time was just, we wanted to eat it, so I thought, hey, let's film it, and it was terribly unorganised. Okay. Shall we get started with our cooking adventures, Bella Rose? Yes. You are going to need a food processor of sorts or a mighty strong arm. And an electric And an electric beater. I'm not going to bring it over, it's too heavy. I'm okay. Alright, so get your little grater out to get your fabulous lemon rind. We just need a teaspoon of this, but if you love lemon like I do, I'm I sure it doesn't matter that I much. I <laughs> love you, Bella. Alright, I think we did it. Oh, yes? Yes. me find our lemon juice arch. I'm gonna have another look because that's just ridiculous. That's gonna take forever. Okay, I can't find my lemon juice thing. Whatever they're called. Whatever they're called. Um, look, sometimes you just have to make do with what you my got, head. don't you? Your whole packet of your niece or nice, however you like to say it, and wherever you come from. Put your bickies in the food processor and crunch them up until they're like a dust. No, not that much. Just a little bit like a dust. Okay, pop your lid on. Pray to the food processing gods that you have put this magnificent piece of machinery together properly. And let's see how it goes. That would be a no. <laughs> I got it to work. <laughs> Cookies, bickies, and lemon rind does smell 
pretty damn good together. Yes! Come back here, please. Okay. You have to sit back here so we can see everybody. And we'll figure out what's to come next. It's just too many steps in this Mommy. recipe. Let's hope it's worth it. Our biscuit mixture in. <laughs> now we need to press. Our biscuit, our biscuit mixture. Now we need to press hard our biscuit mix. <laughs> now, Miss Rose, we need to press this biscuit mixture. Press, press, press. Can you help mummy press it all down really hard? Pressing, pressing, pressing. Pressing, pressing, pressing. Really, really, really hard. As you can see, the cookie mixture is lovely and pressed as per instructions. And now we're going to wrap her up with some clearing wrap and whack her in the fridge for about 30 minutes. All right, Miss Rose. Okay, this that, we've just done step one and it feels like it's taken half an hour. So let's move on to step two. Let's hope we're a little bit more successful than that. Do you want to hop down? Okay. Alright my darlings, we need 60 ml of cold water. Sachet of gelatin powder. All we need is three scoops, three teaspoons. So it turns out the three scoops of gelatin we need from the sachet actually works out to be a sachet. So, do your gelatin powder. We place our little heat proof jug of gelatin in and we're supposed to keep stirring for two minutes. you're actually ready to use it again. I'm gonna grab our cream cheese. It's like two slabs of it. And we need our caster sugar. Into a bowl, we might put it straight in the mixer. Amazing how you can do things one-handed. Must be a mummy thing. And we'll beat this up. Our 
cream cheese, our lemon, and our caster sugar until it's nice and smooth. Now, a bit I'm a bit scared about the egg whites. Pour them into a bowl, apparently. And we've got to beat this up until we get soft poops. Let's see how good we get at this. Tura -tura. Oh, there's our egg. Now. now, let's thicken this cream up, shall we? We've got to beat this as well until we've got nice little fluffy peaks forming. Continue add. Next step, add your gelatin and stir through till all combined. I've ever folded food before, but I did it. So we are up to grabbing our pre-prepared pan from the fridge, and then we're going to add our mixture. Very exciting. So hopefully we've... Oh, it's set nicely. Excellent. Now... Okay. Our pre-prepared biscuit pan. Lovely and hard, it's fabulous. So, we are going to, they say put about half the mixture in. Slap it. Slap. Oh, look at my baking skills. About half, and then yeah. half the lemon curd. That's pretty good. Get your totally bent skewer and then start putting your curds all through. Oh, it looks like I'm just the baker of all bakers. Swelly, swelly, swell. and then we swirled it around with a skewer, mixes it up a little bit and makes it just that little bit prettier too. All 
right, so wrap your lemon curd chose coke and you can have it in the fridge for three to four hours apparently or overnight for it to set. Cross fingers, legs and toes, it all worked out for us. We did pretty good. Well, the ingredients all together taste super good, so I've got high hopes. If you guys would like the recipe, I am gonna put it down the bottom in the description. Okay, good luck. You're gonna need it. There's like seven steps. Okay, we have had quite the success. This is absolutely delicious. I'm I just removed the out, outer part of the cake tin and wow, wow. I've been, oh, fellas just had a taste. I've been licking the outside of the cake tin and it's absolutely delicious and it's formed so beautifully. The only thing I would change is I would double the biscuit mix and have it around the sides. We just didn't have enough, uh, for yeah. the instructions that we followed. Yeah. That was a beautiful day. I hope everyone out there has a spectacular Mother's Day. We love you very much. You're all beautiful women and it's beautiful to be a mother. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Mwah. Don't forget to subscribe. Mwah.